So guys, I always tell you to play with your food, right? That's a good way to learn anatomy. Well, I just happen to have uh, some lamb chops here that I think you're going to find pretty cool. Okay, this is pretty cool. Um, what we got here, this is a lamb chop. So this would be the spinous process. Right here would be the vertebral body, but we still have the um, actual intervertebral disc. And as you can see, we have what's called the annular rings. And these are the rings, uh, just like the rings on a tree. Uh, we call those the annular rings because we can count them and see how many years old uh, the tree is. Um, so these resemble those rings, so that's why we call it, call it the annular rings. This is going to be made up of fibrocartilage. And if you see, it's, it's pretty tough. But then in the center of the vertebrae, we have this, the nucleus pulposus. And you can see it's very soft. And again, this is going to help uh, give a bit of cushioning for vertical compression. And you can also see we've got an excellent... Uh, example of the spinal cord, you can see the H shape, the H being the gray matter and the white matter surrounding it. So that's pretty cool. The white matter, of course, is going to have the myelinated axons, whereas the H, the gray matter, is going to have uh, cell bodies and uh, mostly unmyelinated axons. Uh, but again, we've got the transverse, well, transverse process out this way, spinous process out this way, uh, this would be the lamina. Can't really see the pedicle, but it would be in here. And the vertebral body. The intervertebral disc with the annulus fibrosus, the nucleus pulposus, and the spinal cord.